Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video, and I am here over on Crystal Isles. Now this is pre-release stuff, but I am here to show you a couple of the base spots that I have been finding. We are actually on to the White Cliffs section, um, and I'll kind of show you a little bit of the surrounding region as well. Um, but there are some really cool base spots over here as well. Some interesting little hidey holes, all kinds of cool stuff. And I'll start with this region here and go towards the White Cliffs. Um, but there's some really, really neat base locations. And I'll show you them all, kind of tell you, you know, big tribe, small tribe. They're all pretty decent. Um, so that's something that you should consider. So I am actually on top of my favorite base location. But before we get there... If you don't mind liking and subscribing, that'd be amazing for those of you that helped me get this far. Thank you so much. I just wanted to say I, I can't I can't imagine what it would be like without having you guys here. So thank you. Really awesome stuff. And uh, let's continue now. So um, right now, this location is what I think is going to be one of the most popular bases outside of the floating islands. Um, and just so you can see the chords of this, this is a really awesome spot. Let me go ahead and pull it up for you. 63.8, 31.5, and this guy right here is a perfectly flat zone with access to water right beneath it. You can see that right there. Pretty cool. Um, if you had a big enough tribe, you could probably take over this entire swath of land right here. But even small and mid-sized tribes are going to be able to take care of this thing, and it's going to be pretty nice. This just this entire floor. Look at this. It's huge. Um, and you can pretty. I think all all of these trees here can be taken down. They're all destroyable so you can kind of block lines of sight have a perfectly flat zone with enough space to build a big base now this by itself is probably big enough for like a 20 by 30 ish um, so it's a huge area and it's all there's no way up to it you have to you know jump up to it so that's going to make it so it's pretty it, not impossible to raid, but it's going to make, make it much more difficult to raid when you don't have a line of sight on somebody and you have to either drop things down on them, stuff like that. Pretty nice little spot. Now, directly beneath this, actually, you've got some cool little water access. Um, so you, you could easily just build like a little mini farm base down here, even dino storage. And uh, actually, on the other side of this thing, if I can find the waterfall, I'm kind of doing like little circles here so you can see um, what this mound looks like. But there are a ton ton of awesome little locations we're going to start with this waterfall right here and the chords of this is right next to that one 61.0 30.6 and basically inside this waterfall if you go inside it's got a huge area back in here and there's lots of little like zones and this is a beautiful little um, area you can put a whole bunch of stuff that's not easy to find uh, and, and it's pretty nice. Now, you can notice that there is no ability to actually place right here because it's not like an actual surface. But up here, you can. Um, you can place it down. And I think you might be able to get stuff tucked away back in here with a cliff body if you find the right zone. It's obstructed, so there is ways to get it down in here. I just don't want to take the time to figure that out right now. But you can build in this zone, which is pretty unique. Um, I think hiding behind a waterfall is always a good idea because you'll notice can't really see very well and it's hidden so again a great startup spot in this little watered zone of the map so pretty neat little spot obviously there's going to be tons of rat holes in a map like this early game so you know keep that in mind now what else so as a whole i would i would avoid this entire area for the most part the this area that i am at um, because this is going to be a hot spawn point, I think, because there's a lot of easy resources here. Um, but, you know, that's my personal opinion, so take that for what you will. This cave right here, I think, is going to be a very popular cave. It's very dark in here, so keep that in mind. Lots of crystal, lots of red gems, but only two entrances. And for a small or medium-sized tribe, this is an amazing base location. Pretty unique. It's got a lot of opportunity to be something that could be used as a nice little, I'd say you can't be much bigger than a medium-sized tribe to exist in this zone, but 55.2, 28.4, and just so you can kind of see from the outside, this is the cave, and there's the map again for you. So, pretty nice little cave. I do not know if it'll take cave damage in there, but it's a pretty sweet little spot. Outside of that one little location, I would avoid this area as a whole, again, resource-rich, so a lot of people are going to be coming to this little spot. 
Now a little bit further out of the way is the actual white cliffs section. Now these base locations are going to be hotly contested for because no ways up, just like some of the white cliffs over on the uh, Valguero map, but when it actually comes to these white cliffs, they are just pillars in the sky, sort of like Genesis pillars, but they have a ton of land, a ton. Look at this, like this is like this one right here is awesome and obviously you have that one looking down on it but these are amazing base locations of all of them my favorite one is probably the one that a lot of people are going to dislike but you know to each their own again the one i like the most is way out here now the reason i like this one this one right here now you have ocean to your backside okay so not too bad now some people would be like oh you can get ocean rated it'd be really hard um, you could take over these three right here and then put like a little tower up on top of that. And this one is only really hittable from one side and that's right here. Um, so I, I like that that concept of being able to be basically safe from all directions. And this specific pillar that kind of exists in the White Cliff Zone, 70.0, 12.9. And all of these really are not that bad to build on if we're being completely honest because they're all pretty flat. They've all got quite a bit of land on them, just like you see here. They've all got resources really nearby. Look at all this metal, clustered up metal. They've all got water, water tames, and in general, a lot of stuff. So uh, resource rich because you can just go over to these little flat lands. You got stone, crystals, creatures. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get clams out of, or uh, silica pearls out of those cluster or those stuff because you can see all like the little things beneath me. But even the big ones, I think, you get silica pearls from. And then you just got a bunch of land. Now, again, if you don't like the ocean style build, these kind of white cliffs locations have a ton of flat surfaces. That if you had like three or four big allies, you could take over the tops of these things, and it'd be really hard to mess with somebody because you could just hold them off it for basically ever because there's no way up so the only way to raid you would be from air base teams i mean just look at the size of this one multi-tiered stuff like that water nearby flat lots of resources pretty prime location now you would have to be a very large tribe in order to take this so 67.4 19.6 now, again, large tribes, I usually go gear my bases towards medium and smalls, but for this White Cliffs location, you're pretty much going to have to be a large or a small tribe in order to do this. Yes, there are explorer notes on this map. Are they easy to find? Nope, it takes me a while to find them. So, uh, again, these islands, pretty nice. This is another big, big tribe island. You're not going to be a mid-sized tribe being able to claim this. This is maybe mid-sized tribe. Maybe. I'd still say large tribe. But again, that's entirely up to you if you want to take that size on. Um, there are some smaller pillars over here that you could take. Like this one right here is more of like a medium-sized tribe because it's not easy to build on, but it still doesn't have a ground access. So it would be kind of hard to raid this one, uh, in my opinion. You'd have some difficulty doing it. But other than that, in this region, you've got a lot of flat land. Uh, so unless you wanted to build out in the water which is not a good idea because boat rating is still a huge problem uh you're, you're gonna need to be quite careful so keep that in mind uh you got lots of drops nearby i've seen some pretty heavy drops you've got crystal wyvern spawning nearby really the uh the white cliffs are a great zone to be in on crystal isles um see that sorry there um all right so continuing this area will be in the map because you do have green on pretty close It'd be really hard to remove this zone anyways, but, you know, I mean, to this direction over here, I'm not really going to review the swamps because there's only one, maybe two good base spots here. So I'll kind of like skip past all of that. Uh, but right over here, you've got a couple of mountaintops and some pretty flat zones. These are good areas to build, but again, I'll, I'll cover that later on. So we're not going to focus on that now. Uh, in the Crystal Isles, the White Cliffs is probably going to be one of the more scary places to go because this is probably other than the floating islands is going to be where a lot of those bigger tribes tend to build um, even even some of these smaller islands are going to be pretty big tribes 
you could have a warring tribe that hates somebody on that side over there. There's still not much you could do about it because you're just you're just up on top of pillars. So no matter what, it'd be pretty hard to push somebody out of this. Now, if you are a smaller tribe, the White Cliffs aren't exactly a bad zone to be. There are lots of little pillars like this where you could put down a cliff platform. If you had some good builders, you could easily build something on like a pillar like this size, which is at 71.4, 14.8. And uh, you could easily, easily, easily have some really awesome bases over here. Just not very big tribes at all because there's very limited space and you could have a very limited amount of stuff. So take that for what you will. Uh, there are a couple of large, like gigantic tribes uh, uh, spots like this right here. This is the top of a mountain. Uh, there is only one way up, and that's from this side over here. It's got like a little pathway up. Uh, you can technically get up these walls with a Giga if you try. I've tried that a couple of times, but this is like huge alpha spot. 74.4, 15.6, and this will be something that probably alphas will end up taking because you can really spread your turret coverage out there. And that's pretty good. So what else can you do? There are these like little tiny islands. I wouldn't build here because you've got high grounds on both sides. But if you're in more of a PVE style base, these tiny islands are really cool because you're up elevated away from everything else. 78.8, 20.2. And uh, that's kind of, you know, how this area is. Other than these like giant land masses that rise up out of nowhere, it's pretty much just a, a swamp. So I wouldn't build pretty much anywhere out there. Uh, but these these can be pretty good, these these raised uh, white cliff zones. I would say building them is a good idea, except for obviously this one where you can just walk up the side of it. Um, but that's me, so believe that for what you will. Anyways, this is the white cliffs, and uh, hopefully this helps you out. You can see some cool stuff like this, uh, and it kind of just goes up and covers lots of base locations in this region. Hopefully this helps you out. Teach. Out.